Virgo. Hi Virgo, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot. And how are you today? I'm so happy because I've got a new deck. And you most probably have already noticed that on um, the channel. Because I've got the crystal deck. Awesome. And I've done a little review on that. And there you can see all the stones. Well, welcome back to all my cyber angels. Thank you very much. I, as I said, I'm ecstatic. Thank you very much for your loyal support and your super chats. And that's why I've bought the crystal deck. I've wanted that for so long. And there's another new card coming. And that is the postcard from Spirit. Uh, so nice. So happy with that. And I've just got confirmation that it will be here in a couple of weeks. Okay, so I hope you're well and I hope you're safe and I hope you you have enjoyed watching the seven month forecast because I did the yearlies and the energy has changed so drastically that I thought I would do the updates. So um, that is one of the reasons why I wasn't live on Wednesday because I wanted to support you, my viewers, my cyber angels with the seven month forecast we're ha nearly halfway through the year already so for if you have a Gemini a Virgo around you then I wish them a happy birthday because we're going into Gemini in about four or five days time and welcome if you are new and uh, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live I usually go live three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and I give away free cards and I answer also questions that are supported by a donation, um, and the donation is a super chat or a super sticker. And that's what I do, I buy the uh, new decks from uh, the um, money that I receive from my cyber angels. We are one big happy family in the tea room. And just grab your cup of tea or a cup of coffee and come in and join us. I'm going to start with the um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And that's, these decks are all by Collard Baron Reed. Be at home. You've got the wombat spirit. Okay. I think he's a cutie. It looks a bit like a koala bear. It comes from the same country though. Burrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe and sound, and well fed with, fam with family is a special trait of the wombat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. Wombat spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. Wow, well, that's it. Yes, do this by accepting all your experience without judgment through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and tribe. Right now you are in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well. Everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. The protection message for the, from the wombat is, could it be that you are not feeling comfortable in your own skin, thinking that the only way you can be with others is to hide under a protection of a mask or identity you created to protect yourself from getting hurt. In other words, you've closed your head, you've closed your mind, you've closed your heart, you've closed your solar plex and you're not feeling yourself right so open them up so that you be open to receive love joy laughter but on the other side also sadness and that is what makes us uh, learn the experience of sadness how to get over it and to get 
enjoyment back and love. It makes us stronger. We come out stronger. This mask or persona is supposed to make you look strong, but it really just robs you of your integrity and, and, and enjoyment as well. One bad spirit arrives to nudge you to drop the false mark, mask because it is not others who will hurt you now. It is you who are hurting yourself when you aren't being authentic. It's okay though, you can course correct. If you are willing to be yourself no matter what comes, even if others are not in agreement with you or your authenticity, you are safe with spirit. Wow, now you've got number 80, 68 there and eight, uh, 6 and 8, that's 14 and it's 5. So you're not in balance, so be in balance so that you can feel at home within your skin. Okay, so love yourself, nurture yourself, shine out what you feel, so be positive, Set, reset that mind of yours to positive, positiveness, and, and people will admire you and see it, you'll be the magnet. Now you've got a number one, so there will be a new beginning, okay, the high lady of love and compassion so you are going to open up your solar plex and your mind and your vision also your third eye your intuition listen to your intuition that will never leave you in the lurch look at her she's like beautifying herself you little elf isn't she gorgeous and ground yourself it's a brown card and that's why I'm saying you know it's not just reading what the card means feel the card see the card this a, a, a picture says a thousand words so like I said nurture yourself love yourself be the beacon you'll start shining and people you'll attract uh, people to you people will notice you okay reverence kindness and consideration yes to yourself and then to others ally when the high lady of love and compassion chooses to be your ally she brings you a deep and meaningful message she reminds you that only love is real it is the sole unconditional and true power behind all means of manifesta manifesting out of the unseen into the material. Love's greatest creator, creative power is ignited by the conscious action of compassion, generosity of the heart, reverence, respect and empathy. For all living things bring you profound power to live a life of happiness and contentment, love, compassion and kindness. To all must be impulse because behind your thoughts, feelings and actions when your intention is to create a purpose and abundant life, unconditional love will be returned tenfold. The High Lady also reminds you that when she chooses to be your ally, she brings you evidence that you are loved. All manner of synchronicities align in your favor. If your question refers to a relationship, you are requiring to think of the other person and inquire what is in his or her highest good. Give selflessly, without asking for or expecting anything in return, and let go. What is yours will come to you. Sorry about that. Kindness always returns somehow. You will surely receive that which you give in more ways than you can imagine. Then if she comes in as the challenger, when the High Lady of Love and Compassion appears as your challenger, she gently reminds you to snap out of your self-centeredness. The ego has set a sneaky trap for you. You may have forgotten that 
to create an abundant life, you must be conscious of how your choices impact those around you. Are you trying to manipulate others to get what you want without consideration for them? Is it possible that your good intentions are about helping too much, enabling other person uh, to remain the same and preventing his or her growth? Sometimes it's better to let others hit bottom when their own suffering with their own suffering rather than trying to make it easier for them. Some, that's quite true. You have to sometimes let go. You can help s support somebody, but you must not take somebody's life over, okay? Because they have to learn to appreciate uh, what is given to them and what they have as well. And when you uh, fall on your face, yeah, well then you just have to stand up, dust off and carry on. And that is how you learn. Sometimes you need to be cruel to be kind. Be, be conscious that you aren't alone in this world. Begin to behave as if the God in all life, in every person matters. Remember that the living world is a sacred community and you are a magical you are a magical and important part of it. But you are not the only one who counts. No, that's true. The High Lady of Love and Compassion is waiting to guide you and be your friend and ally. Think first of others and she will orchestrate your ultimate success. Wow. Yes, that's what I always say. With the Wheel of Fortune and the world, what goes round comes round and it comes back threefold whether you've done good or bad. So be careful what you wish for and be gentle, be loving and you know we, we're humans, we all make mistakes but trying to be as positive and really pure as much as you can. The last card Virgo we have Smith Stone Knight sorry Smith So Knight Smith So Knight it's a mouthful <laughs> it looks a bit like jade but it's also got fool's gold in it and it's 51 so that is a 6 you're back in balance whoopee look at that beautiful color it's uh, the color jade emerald light emerald wow and green to me is also family it is also um i think it's better in this light i'll put it here you can, you can see it better um it's also healing it's the heart chakra it's growth um family tree like the linamon uh the tree in the fem in the linamon that's what green means to me okay healing of the heart okay Rebirth from chaos, evolution, stress relief, emotional boost, clearing of the obstacles to grow. Well, we were just, just talking with this card. You sometimes have to be cruel to be kind to grow, okay? Let somebody fall on their own face so they can appreciate. They have to learn and grow as well, not only you. From here to there can be a rocky road, one that may even seem to move under your feet as you engage in a, a process of healing with, ro uh, with ro rolling emotions. The journey can be confusing and unsettling and cause you to want to beat an, a hasty retreat. But Smithsonite spirit message is clear as can be. You are haltingly moving forward into creating something new. If you feel as if you are unsteady and even going a little backward at times, it is only because you are being asked to look to the past and the lessons learned <coughs> so that you so that your next steps can be sure and steady. The ground is firm beneath you. 
the wind is at your back and the conscious universe is beside you so there is no need to look for what may seem to be safer ground the landscape around you is changing you are changing and soon you will feel much more settled if you heed the call of the Smithsonite spirit and trust that you'll be just fine so brief it's all going to resolve soon <coughs> sorry and the obstacles you find daunting will disappear take it step by step you can't run before you can't run before you can walk that's it it's the same thing you know you can't do everything at the same time so take it one step at a time make take it the steps in your own pace that's the best thing now I've got a relationship message with the stone and that can be a love message but it can also be a relationship as a a friend or a mother and a daughter or a father and a son or a son and a mother it's all with regards to relationships you are evolving and the confusion will lift as you breathe and listen to the message of the Smith so night spirit even when you are leading your partner in dance there will be times when it seems you are stumbling backward and twirling through <coughs> in the air you feel unsure and where the ground is uh, and whether you are about to fall in every relationship evolution is necessary at times for circumstances always change you must become the person you need to be so that intimacy and friendship can weather the inevitable storms and grow even stronger put one foot forward and twirl away without fear for soon your gaze will meet your partners and you will see eye to eye on what is most important then the right next step will become clear so sometimes step away and see it from a, a different perspective from a different point of view <coughs> and don't get into uh, arguments just walk away take time out and then when the anger is settled you can talk much clearer and much gentler but also learn to listen each of you okay and with the prosperity message that can be used in uh, work in general life or in relationships every creature on earth experiences growth spurts could you be in one now could it be that the ups and downs in your sense of prosperity reflect that you are maturing into someone new one who is more comfortable with the f fluctuations of wealth in the outer world because you have become more at peace with the natural flow of abundance and are feeling prosperous within so you are feeling comfortable in your skin and with the wombat it was the opposite so you are growing perhaps you are cr growing this week and um, perhaps that might be that that you've got these cards to give bring you a gentle wake-up call I know it won't resonate to everybody so have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign we invest in plant seeds with we nourish and tend we harvest and enjoy the bounty that is ours and then start the cycle all over again imagine what comes next have faith in the cycle for the support of the conscious universe your ally in co-creation is the firm foundation beneath you feel encouragement from the conscious universe being conveyed to you through Smithsonite spirit whose message is this you have what you need in this moment and more in coming to you so brief now when you 
want to do a meditation with this stone then just sit with the stone if you haven't got the stone have a look at Smithsonite on internet Google print it down and hold it against your chest or carry it in your pocket if you don't want to buy the stone I've got selenite I've got also rose quartz and garnet and things like that so I carry that it's got a lot of infusements I couldn't remember the word infusements and I've had this for two months and it has not fallen but you can see the stone changing and selenite is also good for uh, computers and electrical um, appliances and we are in a retrograde now but we're busy with um, Smithsonite okay so if you want to meditate then look at the picture or hold the picture put it in your pocket or the stone crystal spirit meditation Smithsonite is incredibly useful in calming the emotions it comes in a wide range of colors each with a slightly different vibration but all working directly on the emotional body meditation with this stone soothes and brings peace allowing us to disconnect from specific perceptions and explore different perspectives Wow that's what I just said get a different perspective Ooh. okay well Virgo I hope you have enjoyed that um, uh, this reading and like I said if you if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign so make sure that you are comfortable in your skin get a different perspective take your time don't take too much on okay don't be too busy nurture yourself love yourself and if you if, if you find it difficult try to read the book by Louise Hay positive thinking that's a good book and every day you say a positive affirmation and she's got them in the book and it will help you grow and if you press that reset button you can change your boundaries every day review them you can review anything every day and that's take five minutes out a day for yourself sit with the stone or just sit and meditate if you don't know how to meditate or don't like it then contemplate and evaluate think about things make a make a dream book and in the dream book you can put your dreams in also your wishes that is your book your personal book nobody has to see it put it away somewhere in a drawer and then when you go to bed take it out and if you wake up at night you can write down your dreams and perhaps it's new ideas that come into your head and you can put them on ice and then make them real when you feel like it when it is the time is right okay so like I said I hope you've enjoyed this reading I have Take care and be beautiful and be the beacon of happiness and shine. I know we all have our ups and downs, but know that you're worth it. You're beautiful, okay? Ooh, good message. Take care and be blessed and stay safe. See you in the next life or in the next video. Ciao, ciao.